Hey there, CPO here, and I want to review the newest version of the CPO Informant. This is going to be version 2.0. It's a little bit of a departure from the original version, version 1, uh, in that I changed the look a little bit and uh, started to implement some menu schema. So uh, this is in the uh, always on display, the demo. mode. Uh, this is the new look of the face um, for the... Um, the main uh, display, um, as you can see, the uh, the time is a little bit brighter, uh, bigger, and uh, less obstructed. And um, also, um, I cleaned up things a little bit. So there are only two hot spots on the main display. Basically, this blue uh, menu button, which I'll talk about here in a second, and then the dark mode or the movie mode is still there in the uh, 6 o'clock uh, region. Uh, your appointments still will show up in this uh, black bar, which I don't have any appointments right now. It's a holiday today. so um, And then the, uh, the current temperature is up there within uh, whatever parameters you have set for updates, the date, and all that stuff. Um, I did have a section with some more weather information. I've now moved that into a menu uh, option. The left is the uh, watch battery, and the right is the phone battery. Sorry, my timeout will set really low right now. Um, anyway, so if we press this, it takes you into our new menu. Um, the clock there tells you the actual uh, legit time, but anytime you press that, it takes you back to the main clock display. Um, I have the countdown timer. Um, I have the stopwatch still there. And I've added this little um, weather center button here, which tells you the current temperature, the high and low for the day, uh, what location you're shown at, what the, uh, you know, weather conditions are, the wind conditions, and then um, uh, also, whoops, of note is the uh, last update time, so you can get a feel for how current is that information. Um, so going back to the menu, um, I've made a few slight changes to, for example, the uh, countdown timer. Uh, I moved the running time down to the bottom, and I'll show you why here in a second. So to set it, you would still um, go up here to the top, make your adjustments, and then hit start. And you still have the uh, countdown ring, and then now your time is there. And if I double tap to go back to the home screen, you can see why I moved it, because now it replaces the step count um, in the main display, because of all the things... Um, on the main display, I didn't mind covering up the step count when I'm running a timer uh, or um, or stopwatch. Seemed like it was the good thing to get rid of. So, and we can still run our stopwatch uh, simultaneously along with the countdown timer. And so, as you can see, it takes priority on the main display because I've got the countdown ring to give me that indication. I've got two icons there. Um, the blue is related to the countdown timer and the orange is related to the stopwatch. And then, of course, when it goes into uh, always on display or the dim mode, I can see the, uh, the times for both of those and the countdown ring. Uh, oops. Um, so um, additionally, I did add in this settings uh, button which uh, on my watch is really close to the drop down on the top. So I just have to be careful to hit the bottom end of that. Um, this is where right now the only setting I have is to adjust the demo display. So you saw it as analog. Um, now I just swap that over so that it'll be a digital display as soon as it times out. Which of course when you want it to time out, it won't. Come on. There we go. So you can see now it's got the digital display. Still has the uh, countdown timer on top and the stopwatch on the bottom. And I am getting alerting uh, of the uh, countdown timer while in dem mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stop these, reset them. And back home. You can see it's kind of a double tap to get back home if you're in one of the settings because clicking it takes you back to the menu. Um, I'll decide how much I like that, but really it doesn't take much to double tap to get back. Anyway, that is the new version 2 of the CPO Informant. Um, I think it's a cleaner display, and uh, as you can see, you know, I'm building in room for additional settings options, which I haven't 
come up with yet. But right now, um, I do have that ability to set your dim mode. I may adjust maybe some uh, uh, some of the intensities of the, the settings on dim so you can adjust how bright or, or not you want your display to be. Um, but anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.